grand rising um everybody it's almost 10 so i'm on another walk so this is my walk and talk time okay so i want to talk about biggie's mom miss valetta am i saying that right um she recently or not too long ago or whatever had an interview with Vlad tv and they were talking about puffy okay and she was like i knew it I knew it, but she had so much more to say about him. She said that when Biggie was alive, she used to warn him not to trust Puffy so much. Puff Diddy, Diddy, P shit, whatever. Um, don't trust him. She used to tell him that. I don't know if he listened or what. I think that towards the end of his life, he probably began to listen. So... Biggie has been um, gone for like, what, 20 some years, 25 some years. And he was murdered, we all know that, okay? So Biggie was one of the uh, the best uh, rappers out there uh, in New York and uh, overall in the United States. He was he was one of the best, Biggie was, Biggie was bad. I liked a lot of his hits, you know? But um, after he died, she said that P. Diddy profited off of his death, but not in a way, you know, in a way where he appreciated Biggie. It was just about him making money. And she said that she feels like Diddy basically shitted on her son's legacy. All right. So she said in the interview, she told them to put it on record. She said if she, if she could get close enough to him, she would slap P. Diddy in his face for how she he disrespected her son. So when she said, when I, when she said that, oh, I knew it, I knew it uh, concerning him, what he's going through legally now. I think she knows a lot more. She's just not saying anything, but she does not have any good feelings about. P. Diddy. She has no good feelings about him at all. It seems like she hasn't really reconciled her son's death in her in her heart, and she's bitter about his how his legacy has been mishandled by people who were supposed to um, be his friend and who managed him. Now, it must be said that uh, P. Diddy did give um, Big Papa a chance. <laughs> To become a very famous rapper he did he gave uh christopher wallace a chance all right to uh, get where he was but at the same time he uh used and abused uh him and his legacy the rumor uh was that i think he did not he did but her son Christopher Wallace, Biggie Smalls, was almost broke. Our base just didn't have really the money that he should have had as a result of his of the hits that he made, concerts and, and royalty. He just didn't have it like that. That's that's what allegedly, okay? So she also had some words for Lil' Kim. So we know that Lil' Kim and uh, Biggie Smalls had a relationship. And she was in love with him, but he wasn't in love with her. I heard that she had even gotten pregnant at one time and he um, he uh, coerced her to, to terminate the pregnancy. All right, so he, he never loved her, but she was always crazy about him. And he uh, ended up marrying, at least uh, he married one woman and the other women that he dated were high yellow light skin and stuff like that she, she you know women that didn't look anything like her and i remember her in an interview years ago talking about how she can't make her skin lighter she can't make herself taller and stuff like that i think she was talking about biggie because she could get in his bed but not in his heart so miss wallace our <clears throat> letter was talking about lil kim she was talking about how she was shocked and angered when she saw Kim in Biggie's mint coat and holding up his chain. 
she said she was angry. Not only that, she said that Lil' Kim was trying to claim his uh, Biggie's mansion as her own. She said that and, and it's on record. So she, um, she don't have any good feelings towards any of them. And I think it's so sad because she needs to heal and move on. But I, I sense a lot of bitterness and pain in her still. And it's, it's not fair to her. She, you know, you can't change what happened is in the past. Heal and let it go and move on. But she ain't never really liked him either. I remember uh, years and years ago when um, they made that biop about Biggie's life. And the little, the, the young lady that they chose to play Kim, beautiful, beautiful chocolate, smooth chocolate skin little girl. She was a part of this famous trio group and she left because they had, they were having issues. And I can't think of her name and their name, I'm sorry, forgive me. But um, she played Kim in the bio and Lil' Kim. And Lil' Kim got mad. She didn't really want her to play her in this movie. Guess what? And guess why? Because she said, allegedly, that the girl was too dark. She didn't want no dark skin. Oh, Lord. I remember hearing that. And I remember Miss Valletta going off on her way back then. She, in so many words, she, she was saying that Kim was mentally ill. That's what she was saying. She's saying she's, she's mentally ill. So many words. So she's, uh, wow, she had a lot to say in that interview. Um, it would be, well, I'm, I'm pretty sure she don't want no apology from P. Diddy. But like I said, she needs to move on. All that's in the past. Nothing, you can't change that. You deserve to be happy, Miss Valletta. You really do. You need to appreciate the popularity that your son Garner, he has never been forgotten. He never will. He was one of the best in the rap game. He was true to the art. Be proud of that. Okay, so praying for her happiness, y'all. All right, thank you for watching this video. Please like and share. Subscribe to the channel, y'all. Support the channel. I appreciate it. Peace.